All right, guys, welcome back to another video, and I am super excited about finally being able to do this video for you guys because I have been waiting for this thing for a year since I got it, and that is the Big Screen Beyond Audio Strap, something that I think definitely should have came out at the same time. The fact that I've had the headset for a year, uh, obviously, it's hard to make hardware. It's their first time diving into this, so I'm not going to give them that much of a hard time, but... I wish this was around when it first came out because I've been using another audio solution for the past year with my big screen beyond, which is just these Logitech ones that go above your ear. And it doesn't make the headset as comfortable because it's not designed for the big screen and it's big and bulky and it doesn't make wearing everything as comfortable. You got to put the big screen beyond on and then you got to fiddle around with the audio. Obviously not the best solution, uh, even though it worked just fine, of course, for the last year that I've had it. Finally, this arrived at my doorstep also. I don't know what FedEx does or UPS does. Like, how is it possible? This is a really sturdy box. Do you guys hear that? Do you hear how hard I'm hitting the front of this box? How is it possible that there's a gash this big on the box and this big of a gash on the right side of the box? Obviously, I'm not collecting this box. Uh, and no damage was done, even though there's like a gigantic hole here, luckily, to the audio strap. But like, this thing is like, look how hard I'm hitting this and it's not bending. For this much damage to be in this much of a hole, like this thing is hard, like for me to make a hole on here. I'm putting a ton of force on here. It's just crazy. I don't know what they do. But anyway, point being, we finally got this in our hands here. I've been using it for the past week since I've gotten it. I made a big screen beyond. We're going to go ahead and get into this. And I'm going to talk to you guys about my experience and what I think about the audio quality and all that kinds of stuff. And if I think it's a perfect solution for you guys to get for your big screen beyond. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming tech. -y. All right, guys, so here is the audio strap. I wanted to give you first a close look into this right now. Obviously, like I said, I've had this on my big screen beyond for the past week using it and putting it through its paces and stuff. And you can see it goes in flawlessly. It obviously looks like it belongs on this headset. Really like everything about the design. And we're going to talk about the different features of it. Uh, but you can see it snaps on really easily. It has a USB cord that goes from the back of it uh, that just plugs into the right side of it. For the audio, as you can see here, if I turn this thing around, you can see the right side of it is there's like a little USB cable that comes in here and you can go ahead and put it right there on the right. And then of course on the left is the, is the uh, USB-C cable that goes to your computer for the actual data. Um, and you can see here the quality of this thing is really, really nice. I do think the foam underneath here is perfectly fine. It's not like the best foam in the world or anything like that. It feels fine, but it's not like... Like if I press this hard, I can feel like the, um, you know, the plastic underneath. So it's not like the foam is like anything hardcore, uh, but it does do its job to keep it on your head. And I don't really have any issues with it. Um, and then the same thing with the uh, actual off ear headphones, as you can see here, the ear cups that it actually uses, like the cushion stuff is very reminiscent to like the cost pros that a lot of people used to use on like the Oculus and stuff. It's very similar to that type of feel and type of headphone and stuff that they're using on there. So it's definitely comfortable enough, but also most people are probably going to be using this off ear and it's not going to be touching their ear for the most part. Uh, and then it just connects right here to, to the top right here, the same way that the original strap connected. It just pull out, pull in, and you can put it in there very, very simply. Now, as far as the adjustments, you got the back here that you can just adjust this dial. It says big screen in there on the back, which is really cool. And it just like, if you hit it and open it, obviously adjust forward and adjust backwards to go ahead and take that off when you want to. The actual headphone here is really nice because you can adjust it up and down if you want to. It has this little thing here that you can hold in and then move the actual uh, headphone up and down depending on where you want to adjust it while it's on your head. So that's really good. It even lets you adjust with this little knob here, which is cool, something I haven't seen on how close this actually sits next to your ear. Um, obviously I can't show you that right now, but it adjusts next to your ear. Uh, if you want it off your ear further apart, or if you want it closer to your ear, you can use this little knob here. And of course it has it on both sides. So a lot of just adjustability with the bottom, with the back here where you can adjust it back and forth and also adjusting the headphone up and down and adjusting how close it is to your ear, which is really nice. Like I said, not something I've seen before. And also, uh, the fact that you can just, you know, move this, um, up and down, uh, like you usually can with these, uh, you know to get the variability on where you actually want it. So, and I think it has a really good look. Like I said, 
Uh, it looks really good on the big screen beyond. Uh, it feels really premium and what you're paying for. But of course, what matters here is the audio quality and how it fits on your head. So first, let me show you how this fits on my head and what I feel about it before we get into some gameplay uh, of some games here to tell you guys what the audio sounds like. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this on our head here so you guys can get like an up close look to this and how you can adjust this and what I like about this thing. So again, you can take the back and, and pull it all the way out if you want to. And then of course, you can put the big screen on just like this and then you could pull these apart a little bit if you need to. I have this one on really tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here so it can go a little bit off my ear. And we're gonna go ahead and adjust this on exactly where I want it. So again, you can adjust this up and down depending on where you want it to go. Uh, so if you have your ear right here, you can see I'm adjusting it down, putting it right next to my ear, just like that. Make sure that this thing cups your head. You can adjust the back here to tighten it. And then once you have it tightened, you can then move this down to your ear depending on how you want it and the flexibility of it. And I have it on just like this. And now we're ready to go and I am adjusted. And one of the things that I really like about this is, besides all the adjustability that I just showed you guys, is that if you want to, the Big Screen Beyond was already a really comfortable headset. It's, it's the most comfortable headset I've ever used on PC VR very easily, or any VR headset I've ever used due to the sheer small nature of it. But as you can tell right now, I have this dialed in on the back to be kind of tight on the back of my head. Uh, could just because that's how I'm used to wearing VR headsets, so nothing moves around. But because of the way that the audio strap is cupping your head here and the way that this is kind of conforming to your head, you could technically put this a couple of clicks behind you. Uh, so right now, what it's actually doing, none of us in a VR game are usually rocking our heads so fast back to left and right that it's going to fall off our head for the most part. Most of us are just doing this and you can see it's staying on my head pretty well and just moving around, dashing, moving up and down, whatever the case may be. Uh, maybe I'll put it one click higher, but regardless, What's nice is that because of the way that this conforms and the way that the audio strap is, is that now this little part of the uh, big screen beyond, I can actually put it like a centimeter or two away from my face. So the headset is not actually resting on my face, which is where some of the pressure was after a couple of hours of wearing it. I had slight pressure on it. Didn't make it uncomfortable because it's conformed to the shape of your head based on the fact that big screen, you know, makes these things based on your head shape. But... It's something that I felt after a couple of hours of playing. Now, with this audio strap, if I do that one a couple of clicks, now this alleviates the pressure of being on my face like tightened, and now I can play even longer without feeling anything on the big screen beyond because of the fact of how light it is, and you know everything just feels adjusted. The audio strap, you know, adds some counterweight to it, and it's just a perfect headset now, in my opinion, for PC VR. On top of the fact that we know how big screen quality is uh, with PC VR, having a 2560 by 2560 resolution, being OLED panels and all that kinds of stuff, uh, it makes playing PC VR that much better. Uh, like I've said when I've reviewed the big screen beyond headset before. Uh, it's not something I would, I wouldn't use my Quest 3 to play PC VR or my PlayStation VR 2 that's sitting over there because I have a more powerful headset, better quality, better visuals, OLED panels. And now with this audio solution, it's, it's, it's great. So now that we talked about how comfortable it is and how great it is to wear, we got to talk about, of course, the audio solution to this. All right, guys, so here we are. I'm wearing the big screen beyond with the audio right here. I have it at max volume, as you guys can see here. It is at max volume here, um, using the built-in microphone, of course, of the big screen beyond to record the rest of this video here. And I wanted to do some gameplay to showcase, you know, so what some of this sound is like. Obviously, it's not going to show you guys uh, th what the sound is like, but I'm going to talk about it while I while I show it. And the first game we're going to start off with, which is probably really obvious, is the Be Beat Saber. A game that I play all the time. A game that people want to know how this actually sounds. Now, like I told you guys before, I was using the Logitech, um, you know, the Logitech over-the-ear headphones that I had before. The ones that were officially, I forget the exact model, but the ones that were for the Quest 3 when they came out that Meta was selling. Uh, that's basically the one that I was actually using. So just to show you guys here, we're here on Beats here. We're on Expert here. And the sound is really good. Uh, the sound on this, on the quality of this is really, really good. You can hear everything you want to hear in a game like this. Uh, I do keep the volume at 100%. There's no doubt about that. I won't ever lower the volume on it because I think, oops, I wasn't paying attention. Playing Beat Saber and trying to talk is not easy. But um, it, it's, it's loud enough 
uh, where I don't like want to grab another pair of headphones. Like I hear everything fine right now, and I hear the song really well, especially the built-in songs for Beat Saber. But I wouldn't lower it underneath 100% because then it just gets too low. For my taste, everyone's taste might be different. But I like my music loud when I'm playing a game like this, and this just gets there at 100% volume for me. But the sound quality itself, not the sound volume, is extremely good. We're not gonna play a whole entire Beat Saber song right now, because you guys aren't here for that. But, uh, just made that without dying. And like I said, you can see I'm wearing the strap without having it fully tight, and I'm playing Beat Saber kind of moving around, and it's not falling off. Uh, because, like I said, it is better to not have it fully on your face and have it lean on it, because then it just becomes that much more comfortable. But uh, I need to stop playing, because it gets addicting just standing here and playing Beat Saber. Um, but we'll go to the main menu here. The only thing I'm going to call out is if you have custom soundtracks like I do, and I'm not going to play them right now because then I'm going to get copyright strike. But uh, the volume for most of those songs seems to be a little bit lower, probably because you're downloading music videos and putting them in the background and the songs aren't as loud. Um, I don't think there's a way around that, unless if you like take the songs that you downloaded for Beat Saber custom songs and put them through a program that like raises the volume, which you can do. There's a lot of free software that does that. Um, but you would have to do that for every song, but they definitely do sound, most of them, not all of them, some of, the, some of them sound fine, but whoever's making these songs and stuff like that don't obviously have them at the same volume as the like, built-in songs like these and the DLC songs that Beat Saber sells. So those might sound a little bit lower than these, but again, uh, there's ways around it if you care, but it, it, it's still good enough. It's just not, like I said, it's not as loud as the built-in songs. And here we are with Crisis Brigade 2. I wanted to show you guys a... Uh, Antonio Montoya basically show you guys a, a gun game so you guys can kind of hear me talk about the audio on there to see where the audio is coming from and stuff like that so again this sounds really good the audio is really good and I'm getting blasted immediately I did not expect it to just drop you in just like that and I just got hit slow mo But yeah, this sounds really good. No complaints at all. Also, this game is just a ton of fun. If you like Time Crisis style games, which I do. Dude, he was in my way. Yeah, but this sounds fantastic. I have no complaints with the audio quality on most of the games that I've tried. Um, the audio quality is exactly how good it was. Is it? It's definitely better audio quality than the Logitech ones that I was using before. The only thing that the Logitech had uh, is that they sounded louder because, of course, they were bigger drivers. So that's not going to be a surprise to anyone that that would be the case. Also, like I said... Playing PC VR with the big screen beyond is so much fun because the quality of the graphics and everything. But yeah, you guys get the idea. Uh, really, really fun game and uh, it sounds fantastic in here as well. I'm going to show you one more, a little bit more of a tranquil game to see how it sounds when you're kind of just hanging out. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a proper send-off on a review on the big screen beyond if we didn't look at the big screen be uh, big screen application for VR. As you can see here, this is a custom room that somebody created. It's a 90s themed room, which I think is awesome. As you can see here, you got a gigantic CRT TV. You got some couches and stuff. Really makes me feel like I'm in a 90s room. You got a computer over there. 
Uh, but how does it sound with movies in here is going to be everyone's question or whatever you're watching on here. So if I just click on Linus Tech Tips uh, YouTube video here just to play something this here This incredibly quick. tiny VR headset and weighs a fraction of can the hear. Valve Index. It sounds great. It uses high resolution It, it sounds exactly how you would expect. OLED it has a spatial audio and if you move it ships around. It with a face lay cushion in bed. that manufactures big screen and ink And also here in front of you on the screen. Specifically for you using a 3D scan and of your face. And it sounds face. fantastic with YouTube videos and, and, and movies and stuff with the special audio. It's not an uh, enterprise product that costs no complaints at all when it comes to it. Like I said, I just keep my audio at a hundred percent when it comes to audio because I like it a little bit louder and I think it just meets that mark as far as being loud enough for my standards. Uh, I just can't go any lower. Um, even though it is slightly, it, it is definitely lower than my other Logitech speakers, like I said, but obviously those headphones were bigger drivers. Uh, but this is a much better experience because I don't have to worry about taking the headset on and putting another audio strap around me, fiddling with cables like I was doing before. It's an all-in-one solution, and I'd much rather sacrifice a little bit of, you know, height vol uh, volume level as far as not being as loud when these are still loud enough than dealing with the Logitech speakers and the Logitech headphones and putting them over this and this not being as comfortable because what I figured would happen is exactly what happened with the big screen beyond. With the audio strap, because of the fact that it's conforming to the back of your head, this is more comfortable for me than it was with the original audio, with with the original strap that it came with in the box that was just like the strap from here to here this is much better and it keeps your head like you know more balanced and everything is more balanced and proportioned so this makes it more comfortable even more comfortable than it was before so this is an all in one recommend for me this is something that every big screen beyond person should have uh this is the audio solution you should go with i wouldn't go with anything else uh it's it's perfect for exactly what I wanted it. It makes it more comfortable. It makes it, the audio sounds great. It's just loud enough. It's an all-in-one solution. It feels great. It has a lot of customizability and adjustability to get it right to your head. And uh, you know you can't really ask for much more than that. So yeah, that's pretty much what I think about the big screen beyond here, guys. Uh, if I take this off here for you guys and end this video. It is fantastic, and it's my go-to solution now. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, that you guys want to know about in this review, go ahead and let me know. But if not, I would recommend you guys go out if you have a big screen beyond and buy this immediately. It was a long wait, but well worth it. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time.